Welcome to the Sekigahara Battlefields. I'm Sekigahara Tourism Ambassador Chris Glenn. Over 420 years ago, on October 21, 1600, Japan's biggest, most decisive samurai field battle took place here. It was a major turning point in history, ending the Civil War period and ushering in an era of peace. It began two years prior in 1598, when the unifier of Japan, the ruler who had finally brought peace to Japan, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, died of an illness, leaving an infant son in his place. Without an effective governor, the nation's warlords once again broke into two factions, East and West. East was led by the ambitious Tokugawa Ieyasu. The West, a Toyotomi loyalist faction, was fronted by Ishida Mitsunari. As the nation geared up for battle, warlords across the country were left to decide who to support, Ieyasu's Eastern forces or Mitsunari's Western forces. This is the central Sekigahara area. The Battle of Sekigahara was fought amongst rice fields and small villages in a narrow basin roughly two kilometers wide, surrounded by mountains. This is Mount Sasao, site of the Western Forces leader Ishida Mitsunari's command post at Sekigahara. Mitsunari was famed for his political, analytical, and administrative skills. The teenage Mitsunari had come to the attention of the former ruler Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who, recognizing the boy's intellect, took him on as one of his inner staff. Hideyoshi trusted him greatly, and he rose in the ranks to become one of the five magistrates. Fearing that the Tokugawa would usurp Toyotomi power, Ishida Mitsunari gathered many Toyotomi loyal warlords to counter Tokugawa Ieyasu. This is the first command post of Tokugawa Ieyasu, leader of the Eastern Forces. Ieyasu was a powerful warlord and a statesman. He'd played a pivotal role supporting Oda Nobunaga and later Toyotomi Hideyoshi in unifying the nation. He was the highest ranked of the Gotairo, or Five Regents, responsible for maintaining the Toyotomi administration and the peace of the nation. Now, with the death of Hideyoshi, he too sees the opportunity to uphold that law and order. Over 150,000 samurai gathered on the small plain at the gap in the mountain range, separating East and West Japan, known as Sekigahara. Having considered their expectations, they commenced fighting the greatest field battle in samurai history. Initially, the Western forces held the upper hand. The Western forces were better positioned. They held the high grounds, and they outnumbered the Eastern forces who were surrounded in the valley. Yet the Eastern forces managed to turn the situation around. So, how did they do it? We'll find out in part two 